Let's go now back to Mr. Reboar Rashid, the political analyst from Sweden. Welcome again, Mr. Reboar, to our bulletin. Give us, please, your views on what is going on in Kobani and um, on the Turkish role in these attacks. Well, uh, thank you, Dilvin. Uh, I was saying that uh, it is indeed a Turkish war against Kurdish people, both in Rojava, uh, in Rojava, Kurdistan, in Syria, and in areas under the KRG's control. The Turks want to have a very weak KRG as their neighbor. When KRG is very weak and stable, then Turkey can take over its wealth of oil and gas. But the way to get weak, uh, weak KRG is by weakening Kobani and the Rojava. Mm -hmm. Uh, according to sources, there has been a sale of Kurdish oil to uh, up to 1.3 billion U.S. dollar, which uh, there is uh, almost 400 uh, uh, millions of uh, that re revenue in account of in, in Halk Bank. Halk Bank is a state-owned Turkish uh, bank. So you see that uh, Turkey uh, makes Halk Bank strong with Kurdish money. So if Kobani falls, then it will be easier for terrorists, terrorists to to fight the other two cantons. That means uh, that destroying Rojava at the same time has a weak KRG to Turkey. Hmm. In other words, uh, I think destroying Kurds in Syria means Turkey can take over Kurdish money. Uh, if things work as Turkey wishes, then Turkey doesn't have to continue with ongoing peace process with the PKK either. Is because Turkey has now really been forced to accept the peace, pro the peace process. Hmm. Uh, and will likely ignore it if it can. So uh, Turkey has done everything to destroy Rojava since March 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, helping Islamic State, uh, as you know, is not uh, new at all. Uh, Turkey has supported Jabhat al-Nusra, it's a uh, al-Qaeda branch prior to that, and has forced other Islamic groups and non-Islamic groups to fight Kurds in Syria, mm -hmm. or at least by court Kurds there. So in short, I would say that uh, Turkey sees a successful Kurdish political entity in Syria as a danger to its national security. Uh, that's why Turkey has done everything and, and mm -hmm. will do everything it can to demoralize Kurds by supporting the Islamic State. With the ISIS assaults on Kobani, the Kurdistan Communities Union has taken uh, the decision to end the peace process aimed uh, at solving the Kurdish issue in Turkey. What is your assessment on this KGK's decision, uh, Mr. Rebuar? Well, I think, I think it's a positive uh, decision. Uh, I, I think everybody must ask uh, a question. Where the Islamic State forces come from? Then uh, answering that question, you will discover that almost all of them come from Turkey. Uh, there are at least a couple thousand of Turkish citizens inside the Islamic State. Uh, the recruitment is systematic, is organized and financed and hosted by Turkey. I give you three examples. For example, in the area of uh, Muhammad Fatih in Istanbul and Haji Ibrahim in Ankara and the camp of Gazian, uh, there are the Islamic terrorists which have been trained by Turkey, by Turkish officers uh, and, and military. So therefore, I think uh, the uh, KG, KCK or, or Kurdistan Communities uh, Union uh, decision is, is necessary. Uh, they, they must, as a Turkey, must know that Kurds understand Turkey's uh, dishonest intentions and Turkey's desire to eradicate Kurdish people. Uh, Turkey must decide once and for all either choose to be a partner of peace mm -hmm. or to continue uh, to be the same colonial occupation force it, uh, it, it, as it has been the last 19 years. Mm -hmm. So Turkey must make a choice now. I think, uh, I think uh, the decision of the KCK is, uh, Kajaka is, is really important. Mm. Yes. The U.S.-led ISIS coalition conducted some airstrikes on Kobani surroundings without any coordination with YPG. What will including or excluding the Kurds from this coalition mean to the President Obama's objectives, uh, Mr. Rebuar? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't think that there is any specific exclusion of Syrian Kurds, or at least it's hard to see uh, an exclusion. Uh, the problem, Delvin, is that uh, there are many different kinds of opposition against Syrian regime. Many of them are hostile to the West, uh, and many others are just names on the paper, really. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, there exists enmity, too, between at least Iran, Turkey, and Saudi Arabia. This makes things harder for Kurds to be recognized 
uh, as a partner uh, of the coalition, at least uh, until now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, especially when the game players know, uh, know that Turkey is demanding and setting conditions to exclude Kurds from any serious inclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a clear demand uh, of Turkey. So, but we see already a turning point. Mm -hmm. uh, the democratic opinion and many policymakers in the West have started to realize that there has to be Kurds in the picture. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the West uh, started to learn to say no to Turkey's demands. Uh, so the Kurds have to work more on this field. Uh, uh, NATO, United States, and Europe uh, should not act as, as Turkey's long arm. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Turkey uses NATO uh, and NATO supplies and, uh, and NATO professionalism against Kurds. Uh, Turkey is not for peace and st stability. It's really to support dark and uncivilized, uh, uncivilized forces, and it, it has to be stopped. The political analyst Rebuar Rashid, who spoke to us from Sweden, thank you very much for speaking to Ronahim.